Hello everyone. Welcome to the third cycle of knowledge of the course of the holy season for the year of the song. This is the cycle of Tote. I'm going to be reading a long message from Tote that Cindy received from him this morning. Then we're going to be continuing on with, with the lecture in a second part. At the end of this reading, at the end of this lecture, you will hear Tote talking about how more knowledge will come through uh, late at night. And so today is Saturday, the day before the course is going to be released. And tonight, in the middle of the night, we will receive more information from Tote. Today's lecture is getting filmed at the Western Gate of Knowledge in Los Angeles, California. Tomorrow's uh, cycle of knowledge, the one that re we receive in the middle of the night tonight, will maybe be filmed here. It might be filmed in Denver. Uh, we don't yet know the answer to that question. But this is our first part of the third cycle of knowledge. This information all comes from Tote, and it's just a few hours old at this point. Knowledge emerges from the source. The journey of the seeds is the journey from the source into creation. The golden form, creation. Fullness realizing within its nature boundaries. Creation is the expansion of fullness into boundaries. Expansion into boundaries. Infinite, boundless source journeys into finite material form. This is the golden form, the value of fullness of the source entering into creation. Golden form is the expression of this process of creation. 81 seeds, one becoming 81. 81 seeds of all forms of expression. 1 to 81. This is the journey into creation. This is the golden form. 81 to 108. This is the return. The call of return is sounded by the crown band. 10,000 drums sound. Waking the boundaries, Boundaries hear the sound of the empty value. 10,000 drums awaken, resulting in inquiry into the empty traces. This is the expedition to the boundless. The expedition begins through the sound of the empty. Expedition to the source. Realization of the golden form. The story of creation is revealed through the golden form and the crown band. 1 to 81 and return to 108. Expedition begins with seed 81, intent. Inquiry into the empty trace. Inquiry into the nature of the boundary. Intent is self-reflective. Nothing gets produced. It is the state of empty producing nothing. Nothing gets created. Like the first seed, the 81st seed presents a state which exists prior to movement, prior to action. The first seed is first flowing into creation. The 81st seed is first returning to fullness. Each holds the status of first. Each exists in a state prior to action. It is an awakened state, inquiry, a state of alertness. In the 81st seed, alertness is awakened. This is the ripened state, ready to commence the expedition. The quality generated is awakened perception. This is the transformation for seed 81, subtle hearing. Hearing, which perceives slightest fluctuation, 
reverberation, perception of the subtle. 81st seed hears the beating drums, perceives 10,000 drums, vibrations of form surrounding the empty value. This refined hearing awakens intent, generates inquiry, and the expedition begins. 81 hears the call to return to fullness. Each seed is a nexus for realization of the source. Each seed enlivens a value of transformation, mastery of transformations through performance, practice through repetition. Mastery accumulates. Seeds are traces of emptiness, which fullness has located within itself. Out of the tumbles, form emerges. Form surrounds the traces of emptiness. Transformation is required for each trace of emptiness to regain its memory of fullness. Transformations bring about awakening of memory within the boundaries. Transformations develop holy vision. Elimination of two values of fullness, full all, full nil. Return to fullness is realization of two values of fullness. This is profound fullness. The value of nil found within infinite fullness. Profound fullness. Acquiring memory is acquiring transformation. Seed by seed, memory is awakened. Memory is restored. Each seed presents that which is required to restore memory. Circumstances, events, relationships appear as expressions of opportunity to restore memory. These opportunities may present as obstacles. It may be so. Thus the nature of the return to fullness is called Expedition. Expedition overcomes the obstacles. The process of the source emerging into creation is called journey. Journey of the source. Effortless in nature. Tumbling into creation is an effortless process. The process of return is called expedition by reason of obstacles. Expedition back to the infinite value of the source. The transformation of the 81st seed is subtle hearing, detection of vibration. This transformation is generated through intent to know itself, inquiry into the nature of the boundaries. Return begins with inquiry. Seed 81. With this seed, expedition begins. Eight, 81. Eight covering the nature of one. One, the nature of fullness. Nature of source gets hidden by the eight. Through eight reflections within itself, the source has realized the boundaries. Fullness has located traces of empty within itself. The first seed through eight reflections proceeds to the ninth seed. These reflections are creation creations within itself, reflections within itself. They remain uncreated. Momentum is generated, the process of initial rotations, through reflection, out of the eight values of reflection of the source, three repetitions of eight emerge. Three times three repetitions of eight emerge. Seventy-two Locations of traces of empty emerge from the reflections of the source. Creation. Through this process, creation has emerged. This is the golden form, the form of creation. The source has located the traces of empty. Around these traces, form has gathered. Out of the empty traces, form has emerged, covering the source, hiding the infinite nature of the source. Eight is the value of the boundaries, the value of the traces of empty, 
traces of nil, which get surrounded by form. Fullness gets hidden by the boundaries. The one gets consumed by the eight. This is 81. The nil, surrounded by form, hides the infinite nature of the one. Then, in this 81, the drums are heard. 10,000 drums reverberate throughout creation. Intent to realize gets awakened. Awakening of intent. Inquiry is heard by the 81. This is the supreme value of 81. 81 hears the call to return to the infinite source. Because of creation, owing to existence of seed 81, all expressions of creation seek their source. Seed 81. Flying seed. Therefore, intent. Seed 80. The way. The way processed through motion. Herein lies the key. Eighty-first seed sets intent. Inquiry. With eighty comes the way. Process. The process required to return to the source. The process required to gain realization of profound fullness. The way to attain holy vision. Eighty offers the way. Eighty-one is awakening of intent. Yet this intent requires process for fulfillment. Eight. One. Boundary detects the vibration of empty. The empty is detected through sound, through vibration. Eight hears the reverberating empty contained within itself. Yet it is not awakened to the value of fullness. It does not recognize this empty as fullness. This is the beginning of the expedition. Eight discovers empty within itself. Within the trace, empty is heard. Yet this empty value is not seen as fullness. Within the trace, empty is heard. Fullness, the one, has journeyed into creation. Through reflections of initial rotations, fullness has located traces of empty. Fullness has tumbled into boundaries. Fullness gets lost on this journey. The one gets lost. Fullness gets lost within the boundaries. This is 81. Fullness lost within the boundaries, within the traces of nil. 10,000 drums reverberate, indicating the empty nature within form. Fullness hidden by the boundaries. Form has gathered around the empty. With 81 comes awakening. The eight detects the sound of the one within itself. Sound of the drums is heard. Boundaries have gathered around the empty, and that which awakens is sound. This sound establishes intent, inquiry into this empty. The great process begins. Process through motion. The way. Expedition to the source. This is seed 80. 8 and 0. 0 is the process. Process which connects the boundaries with fullness. The way. In this seed, the way to fullness is present. Intent gets established in the 81st seed. Intent to realize one. With seed 80, the boundaries receive the way to receive fullness. To realize fullness. Process through motion. The process is through motion connecting each trace of nil with the source. Process of connecting boundaries with infinite source. Seed by seed, the traces of nil regain memory of fullness. Connection with fullness, seed by seed. This is the way, seed 80. Seed 80 is the key, the key for 81 to realize 108. Return to the source, fullness of all connected with fullness of nil. Two fullnesses, fullnesses fullness of one, fullness of eight, 
and the connection of the two. Profound fullness. One, O, oh, eight. The eight gets connected to the one through the process of the way. The way establishes the connection. The way generates holy vision. Holy vision is that which sees both values of fullness, the all and the nil. This is the mighty essence of this seed. The transformation of seed 80 is the compass. The compass which establishes the way to holy vision. Initiating thrice spin on the song activates the way. The song is the compass of holy vision. This is the way. This is seed 80. One must traverse the path to arrive at the goal. Without seed 80, expedition would be fruitless. Without the way, one would flounder aimlessly amidst the vast expanse of material form. The way offers the compass. The way ensures success on the expedition to profound fullness. It may be said, 81st seed is the expression furthest from the source. The eight has overshadowed the one. This is fullness of form, fullness of expression of the source. Within this seed, intent to return to the source. The 80th seed offers the way. Expedition commences from the point of greatest material expression, greatest expression of form. Each seed provides energies. Experiences are encountered in returning to the source. Seed by seed, transformations are mastered and collected. The song is an expression of form of the 80th seed, seed of the way. The song is offered to creation such that all beings may enliven the way and attain holy vision. Thrice spin enlivens a seed a trace of nil, one by one enlivening all seeds. The story of expedition of the monkey begins with the first nine seeds. These nine offer a description of the uncreated source. The first nine seeds reveal transformations of fullness within itself. Spin keys are generated through reflections of fullness. Waxing, full, and waning values emerge. The monkey, the pig, and the water spirit join the young leader on the expedition to Shangri-La. The sequence is this. First nine seeds emerge in the early chapters of the story. In the following chapters, 72 transformations emerge, beginning with the 81st seed. Following the first nine seeds, the story continues with seed 81, moving in the direction of the source. From 81st to 80th, and from 80th to 79th, and on like this. Transformation after transformation. A brief exposition describes each transformation. An obstacle appears, a transformation of the seed is applied to overcome the obstacle, and proceed along the way. Seed by seed, the travelers face challenges, and bold monkey, great warrior monkey, capable of over overcoming obstacles, leads the team onwards to, towards the goal of Shangri-La. Mastering 72 transformations, the travelers reach completion of the expedition at the location of Seed 10. This is the Seed of Fullness. All full full in all positions, realm lord, and three spin key positions. This is the seed of first expression of creation. Seeds one through nine comment on the transformations within fullness prior to expression. The tenth seed emerges into form. This is the seed of Shangri-La. The attainment of the goal, which resides at the junction between form and non-form. This seed is the awakening of full, through holy vision, the realization of profound fullness. Seed 10 is the junction of 108. Because of form, the 8 exists. 10, 
and the 8. And there it is. The process of creation, portrayed through the story of the Monkey King's expedition to Shangri-La. Characteristics of the Spen Keys reveal qualities of the seeds. Bold Monkey is an expression of the dynamism which bursts forth into existence in the first Spen Key. While difficult to contain, a challenge to direct, energy of Monkey is the greatest asset on the expedition. Loyal Monkey, loyal to Realm Lord Leader San. Monkey King establishes the direction for other Spen Keys. Pig. Water spirit. The team is thus. Young master is realm lord riding upon the way. Dragon horse. Regal monkey resides at the top of key expressions, followed by pig and water spirit. Each exhibit qualities of their spin key nature. Each relate to expressions of form on the physical plane of existence. Vibrant monkey is first expression of form and this relates to the color yellow and to the day of Monday. Pig is second key, and the color of this value is pink, with day of Tuesday. Water spirit is the third key with blue color, and the day is Wednesday. These three bow to Master Realm Lord, represented by golden saffron. The day is Thursday, day of the Master. Master rides upon the green dragon, dragon transformed into horse. This dragon winds around the expressions of the spin keys, generating motion of the way. Green is the value of Friday. Initiating spin on the way enlivens the seeds and ignites the highest purification. Purification is the violet flame illumining the boundaries illumining that which hides the infinite value of the Almighty Source. Saturday is the day of purification of the layers of obstacles and ignorance. Sunday, the day of arrival at the goal through purification of all traces of empty. The day of fullness contains fullness of color, white. Seed by seed, Challenge by challenge, the team develops greater knowledge, skill, and unity of purpose. Transformation after transformation, the characters advance along the path, and the expedition arrives at the goal. In this coming night, we will offer the transformations. We will illumine the values of transformation of each seed. In the time of silence of this deep night, Illumination dawns, revealing the value of infinite fullness. So there is our first part of this third cycle of knowledge for the course of the holy season. I'll speak with you shortly with the continuing second part of this third cycle of knowledge.